everybody, it's Renee. I am here today to show you the boutique paper, the same one that I did the Workshops Your Way um, scrapbooking pages, um, I believe just yesterday. Um, this is the card making Workshop Your Way. It is called Hugs For You. It makes 12 cards, six of each, and the price on this is $20.95, which roughly comes out to about $1.75 a card. Um, you get everything in the kit that you need, including this exclusive stamp set that only comes, I'm going to put it on some white paper, this exclusive stamp set that only comes with this particular um, card making kit. Um, sorry, I didn't get my stamps put on very clearly, but it just says, I just want to right now hug you. My heart hurts with you. A heart, it has some arrows some dots and it says sending my love and then this is beautiful let me show you the two different kind two different cards that you can make with this kit um, it also comes with the full color instructions that tells you how to cut all your paper and I'll also show you all the paper I have left over because I can do quite a few more things with this paper um, this is all the paper that I have left I mean I have a good amount of this yellow paper. I have some of the polka dot that has um, this on the other side of it. And I also have a full sheet left. Of, this is our new sugar plum. Um, that's our new color of the year. So let me show you how we put it together. Oh, and it also comes with some twine. I love our twine, it's very thick and I really love it. And it comes with all of the cards and um, all the card bases and envelopes that you need to make all 12 cards. So this is card number one, and it is uh, sending my love. It's beautiful with the with the um, horizontal. I'm sorry, the what are those called? Diagonal pages. Um, really nice card bases, and you can always put a sentiment on the inside um, if you wanted to use sending my love, and then on the inside you could use um, my heart hurts with you. Um, so. Or you could just say, I just want to hug you right now, which is the next card we're going to look at. And so there's this card. Um, really, really fun. I love that background. Um, I can see all kinds of ways to do that, and it really pops the sentiment up when you use that background. And I love the chalkboard look. So it calls for charcoal ink and um, our sugar plum ink, and then it also calls for saffron ink um, to do part of the heart. I chose not to put the yellow on the heart. Um, I did not have the saffron ink. Um, I do have the charcoal ink, which is an awesome ink. I have never used this one before, but I think this is gonna become an ink I use a lot because I really like the way it looks. It softens it, makes it dark, but you're not using a black. And then I didn't have the sugar plum, so I looked to see, okay, what ink color do I have that is close to the sugar plum? This is the sugar plum paper here. Um, and the sugar plum paper here and this lilac it worked really well so don't feel like if you don't have everything for a kit that you are lost and that you know i'm not going to buy the kit because i can't afford all the extra pieces use what you have you will be surprised at what you have that will work okay so i'm going to get started i'm going to show you card one and then card two we'll do this fairly quickly and as usual, I've pre-cut and pre-stamped everything and have them in my little baggies. So we will start with card one. And get all of our pieces out. Now what I found with card one is that it is so much easier if you give yourself some pencil lines, okay? So we will get that a good crease and get here. So what I have found is, so I want my, I want my diagonal to go from this corner to this corner. So I'm gonna take my ruler and just lay it right there, corner to corner. You're not gonna see this pencil mark because it's gonna be covered up by your diagonal stripes and your sentiment panel. So there's that. The other thing I found is that it was really a lot easier, and I like to use the dark side of the sugar plum. Um, it does come in the dual, the dual tones like our other solid cardstock. <clears throat> and while I'm doing this, I just, um, I'm just putting a mark right in the very center of these two strips so that I can line up those pencil marks. 
And while I'm doing this, I'll just let you know this kit um, is in our new catalog, our Seasonal Expressions catalog that came out on September 1st, and it will be with us through the end of December. Um, if you like this kit and you want to purchase it, I will have a link to my shop down in the comments section. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of adhesive on here. And for cards, I do put a little bit more adhesive um, than I do in my scrapbook pages, just because I don't want things to fall apart as they go through the mail. Okay, so I'm just lining up. You just want it all the way to the tip of the paper and try to keep it as straight as you can. So that's what that looks like. And then that's what it looks like on the back. Okay, and then we're gonna cut off those extra sides um, that are hanging over. Do the next one. Oh, my tape is messing up again. I'm having a heck of a time with this particular roll of tape. I am not sure what's going on. I've got my baby wipe over here that I tell you I always have, so you have a place to put all this stuff. So let me see if I can get my tape going again. I may have to change this tape out because it is really giving me a hard time. Okay. I turn my card around and so what I'm doing is putting my reverse tweezers just like in the middle so I can sort of line up my reverse tweezers with the corner of the paper or the card and then do that there also if you feel more comfortable building on another piece and then um, adhering that to the card base you can absolutely do that um, our card bases and envelopes match our white daisy cardstock exactly so you will have no trouble whatsoever if you do that so now we're going to put our, um, our polka dot paper right there. I believe that's where that goes. Yep, that's where that goes. And sometimes this isn't exactly straight, so I may need to put it on here just a little bit over. So we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> sometimes working with diagonals is a little bit tricky. So you just do your best. And like I have said many times, doesn't need to be perfect. This is handmade. You're showing your love and it does not need to be perfect. So let's do it on the bottom and see if it, if it works better on the bottom. It does. It's a lot straighter on the bottom. And we will just line this up and line up this corner. Let's see if I can get it to line up a little straighter there and push that down. And it looks like it's a little bit off up here, so I'll pull it up just a little bit and slide it over a little bit more. Okay. People will be so excited to see a handmade card, so you don't worry about it being absolutely perfect. And I think that the, the days of sending real cards is you know, people don't really do that so much anymore. So it really makes a big impact when you take the time to make a card for somebody. Um, they really get a lot out of it. My nephew is so cute. He, uh, I make him cards for his birthday and um, he's always, oh, this card's a keeper. And it's, it just makes my heart, it just warms my heart that he thinks that my cards are keepers. <clears throat> And you will be surprised at how many people are just amazed at the, the cards you make. And these cards are so easy because the instructions, I mean, you have full color pictures. Not only that, but you get the sketch and it tells you exactly how far to do everything. Now, I've done several of these already, so I'm not um, coming in here and measuring things. Um, but it's it just really turns out they really turn out nice okay so that's our base I'm gonna set that off to the side while we build um, the rest of our card so you have a darker side of the saffron and a lighter I really like that darker side because I think it looks really good against these other colors so that's the side I'm gonna use but you can pick to use whatever side you like now what I did was I put this um, this flat on here 
And then I use some foam tape on this to give it a little bit of dimension. You wanna be careful with the dimension if you're mailing cards, because after they get over a certain thickness, um, the post office will charge you extra. So you wanna watch that a little bit. Um, I have found that I can use about two layers of, it, of um, dimension before I run into, before um, I run into a problem and then I can't, um, so I almost forgot one part, the, um, the twine on the bottom. So let me find my twine. I know I showed it to you. There it is. My desk is a disaster. Um, so I really like this twine. Um, I find a lot of uses for it. Um, it ties really well. Um, let's see, where is my tape? This is the way that I like to do when I'm attaching twine to the back of something, is I go ahead, put a piece of tape on it. Now this, I want my tape a little, not quite, um, I don't know if you can see that very well. No, probably not. Um, it's about one third of the way up from the bottom because I wanna be able to tape this close to the bottom but not have my tape hang over the edge. So we will put that on. There you go, and I push it down really good with my fingernail. And I'm sorry if my nails are looking sort of rough lately. We are actually moving, and uh, we are we are leaving Colorado. We're going to Tennessee. Um, that is where my husband is from, and um, a lot of my family is from there as well. <clears throat> so it'll be nice to be near family again. And. Um, we love Colorado, but it is so expensive to live here in Colorado. So this is something that will allow us to save some money, do some additional traveling, do some other things that we want to do. Okay, so there's our sentiment panel. We'll put our heart on when we're all done. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put, and you can use any um, foam tape that you like. Um, I'm just using this 3M tape. If you watch Sandy Allnock, who, if you don't watch Sandy Allnock, you need to be watching Sandy Allnock. Um, she calls this precious. And uh, it's kind of funny. So every time I pick up the roll, I, I do my little golem impression of, oh, my precious. Okay. So on this piece, I just want to, I just want to put, take a piece off that's going to fit right there. Because I want it to lay as even as possible, and if you were to put foam tape over that, it wouldn't lay very even. So this kind of brings it up to where you need it to be so that it lays even. Okay, so I just push it down, pull up the edges of the backing paper. Sometimes it's hard to get that edge up. Um, that's when sometimes I will take um, the corner of my scissors and kind of pull at it. Um, but this seems to be working. Oh. I was gonna say it seems to be working pretty good and then it starts not working. And if you hear any weird noises, my dog is uh, chewing on his chewy. We were gone this morning. My son swam a 10K um, in a town north of us in, a, in our reservoir. And so we've had Peanut in his kennel. So he is taking out his all of his energy, pent up energy on chewing that chewy. And my son did very well. He finished first in his his age group, which was really fun. It's always fun to see him succeed in things. I'm sure you moms out there, you understand. Okay, so we need a couple skinny pieces to put our heart on. And I have found that if I cut off just a little bit, it makes it so much better. So I'll stick that on my baby wipe. Turn this over. <clears throat> So we spent the morning out in the sun. It was a beautiful day, a little bit of breeze. <clears throat> and then we went, um, we went and had a little bit of a, of a celebration meal with my son and we took him and his girlfriend and um, his other friend who was his kayaker. When you, when you swim a 10K, you need a personal kayaker who's with you the whole time in case something goes wrong. Um, and we took them and had tacos. So that was really fun. We had a good time. Okay, so there is card one. How easy was that? Could you even buy a card 
for $1.75. Now, I realize you do need to have some ink, but again, like I told you, if you don't have these colors, just figure out what colors you do have and what will work for you. Because you get all, everything you need. All you need is ink, adhesive, and um, some stamp blocks. And then you've got everything you need to make these cards in the kit. Okay, so let's make card two. How far in are we? Am I talking too much? I might be. Okay, this one is a really fun card. Um, it has a couple of circles that I cut out with our thin cuts. Um, the ones that the kit tells you to use are the stitch circles. I don't have stitch circles yet. It is on my wish list, um, but I did have the regular circles, so I use those instead. Um, a couple of flags that we're going to cut. Here is our sentiment, and then this is part of our background. So we'll get another card. Fold it in half. I love these cards. They fold perfectly every time. And I'll tell you what, they are such a screaming deal. Um, I'll look up the price for you, um, but I believe it is uh, $19.95 and you get a pack of 50 of them. Um, and you get the cards and the envelopes. And I'll tell you what, if I can't think of anywhere that you could have such good high quality cards and envelopes for that amount of money. Okay, so we're gonna put our background piece down. I just love these polka dots. I may have to buy some more of this paper because these polka dots are just beautiful. Okay, so the next part, we'll put that aside. The next part we're gonna work on is this. So I want to make sure, I think I want to have my flowers pointing up. This does have a one-way design, um, but it wouldn't be bothersome if you had it that way. It's really just personal preference. But I think that's how I want mine done. So I'll go ahead, put this up. <clears throat> and I think I want the darker color. Yeah, I want the darker color of this sugar plum. I just love this color. Um, I have the ink on my wish list, and hopefully I'll be able to pick that up pretty soon. Now this card, I'm gonna have everything all on one layer on the card, or not um, adhere directly to the card. And then I'm gonna pop this right now up, because I want that to be something that is just poppins. It says, I just wanna hug you right now. So I will go ahead and just glue this directly down to the card. And, and you can just kind of eyeball this. It goes kind of in the center of the pay of the card. There we go, there's that. Then we're gonna cut little banner ends on the ends of these. And if you've never seen this done before, um, I can't remember who I saw do this. You just snip right in the middle. Then you cut each side up to that middle part and that will give you a perfect banner every time. And for me, it's just easier to cut when I flip it over. And this piece is um, the zip strip. Remember I told you how the paper, there's nothing you need to waste on the paper, that's for sure. And I think I will use the, I kind of think I like the lighter color this time. So another snip up the middle. Snip, take that little piece off. And snip on that side. And look at that, you get a perfect banner every single time. It's an amazing, I'm so glad I saw that person do that. Okay, so we will put this one on first. This is too skinny for my tape, so I'm gonna go ahead and use um, some liquid glue. You can use your liquid glue of choice. We do sell a really nice um, glue called liquid glass. And unfortunately, since we're moving, I've already packed up a lot of things in my craft room here and I can't find it. So it'll be nice when we're all unpacked and everything is where I know it's supposed to be. Oops, I bent it, darn it. Let's see if I can get it to glue down. Hold it down just a second. Oh yeah, there it goes, it stayed. Okay, and then this one, I can go ahead and put the tape runner on it. Okay. And following our little picture, we'll just sit that right down, put that on, okay? Then we're going to stick this down, and then we'll use some, oh, it's starting to squeak. 
Um, and then we will use some of the dimensional stuff, foam tape, to put the other piece on. So I'm just kind of eyeballing this. There's that. And then we'll do some foam tape on the back of this. And this card will be done. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever on anything that I've done today, um, you wanna see um, more of any of the products, um, on my blog, I will have all of my just commonly used items um, and then links to my shop for anything that you can purchase from my shop. And we'll just put this like this. I wanna hug you right now. There you go. So there are the two cards that we made today. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, just leave them down below and I will be happy to get back to you. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.